all come of woods. It's uh, very, very, very international. Though. It's people from all over the planet. So I would like to speak all the languages, honestly, but uh, it would be very ridiculous. So I will do it for you in English. It's, it's, it's the international key. For the moment, yes. Next year it might be Portuguese. <laughs> it's also not the most difficult language. There's no gender. Okay. In all the Roma languages, and in German you have a gender, so you have to memorize. But English, it's all, it's all the same. The, the verbs are very regular. Go, go, goes, go and gone. Yeah, but that's all there is. It. Uh, if you have to learn a language, I think it can't be easier than, than, than English. <laughs> right, so in Brugge, the Batesmen, they try to give you a bit of commentary. We do it with pleasure, but we are not official guides. None of us got any training in language or history. We only consider it as being boat travelers. When I leave for 30 people, and I come back with not less than 28, <laughs> the manager is happy. When they're all 28 still alive, he's even so much happier. So to start in beauty, behind the bridge on the right hand side, the old St. John's Hospital, built in 1188. In the hospital, you can visit a collection of paintings of the German painter Memling, who lived during the 15th century. It served till 1976 as a hospital. It served almost 800 years as a hospital and started in 1188. So this was the part for the people with the plague. They brought the people out of the hospital. That was the, the exit, people with the plague. And the cellars, that was very often for the mentally disabled because they didn't know how to handle these people and they just put them in the cellar. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Sometimes you forget that also today, for this moment, in some countries, people have to live in this condition. We're not so far away. Sometimes people ask what we do when it rains a lot. It's not a bad question. Sometimes it rains for days. When it rains a lot, then normally we wait a bit longer. And then the day after we go over the bridge. Are you ready? Don't look at me, because for me it's no problem. My head is very flat, so I make it very easy. And then in front, what I find the most elegant bridge of the city. It's made in stone, but very thin and very flat. You can't make it thinner, or it falls apart. Eh? You have to realize the stones are hanging there. It was built in 1692. So I'm sure that the people on the bridge are not aware how thin it is. Eh? Yeah. You wouldn't dare to walk over it. Eh? Yeah, they, they can't see it. Eh? They... Then in front, the old lock system, 16th century, behind the lock system, the lake of love. Yeah. In Brugge, it's a very old tradition that when people marry, they always take the photos at the Lake of Love. So yeah. romantic. Yeah, Lake of Love, no. But at least 30% will be divorcing in the first 10 years. <laughs> so it doesn't bring so much luck. It's, it's really because after divorce, they never come back for another photo. <laughs> when I was at the chimney, the wedding day, and then seven years later, you can see the difference. The swans, they can easily make a perfect couple for the whole country is flat. 
flat as a pancake. We only got mountains of faith. We've got mountains of debts to pay as well. Every second, a national debt raises far for the Jews. Nobody cares. Every second, not every minute, every second. Far for the Jews. Now behind the bridge, on the right hand side, are, are private homes. But I must say, many of these people are not very happy with the noise of the boats. They don't like my voice. There are 20 boats. They all come back the same way. That means every half hour, 40 boats, all telling the same nonsense over and over and over again. So the people can whistle for what I will say. So, so there he comes again. So. That is weird because some people are very friendly and they say, oh, we don't care. It's what, and I actually honestly see it. When they see a boat, they wave and they look very happy. And sometimes the neighbor is furious. But, uh, like these people over there, always very friendly. Right when they come out, they're always very enthusiastic. And, and the neighbors are angry. <laughs> but, but look at the garden. Look at this. Look at that. I think the people in front of us are not very happy neither. So they had a lovely view on the canal, but the neighbor is building a roof in front of us. It will block the whole view. Let's see if here, I can see it. It's not the same. It's a house on the, on the left is building the roof. So these people have blocked the, the, the view on the canal. And then in front, the smallest window of the city in Gothic style. But it's so small, you, you can't see it. it, it it's only oh, like this, even smaller. You can't see it. So on the left hand side there are two dark windows and then to me it is on top of the first one. There's a little spy window in, in Gothic Star, you see. There, two meters on top of the first black window. Smallest Gothic window. Nobody ever jumped out of it. And when it rains, all the boats are waiting under the following bridge. Always be in a perfect shelter against showers of rain but a very difficult house to buy furniture because you have to cut the legs of the chairs. <laughs> the chairs are like this. It's very difficult. Here on this spot, it never rained in far from the chairs, not one drop. Only a few meters further, it rains 200 days a year. Here it never rains, it rains 900 days. And then between the linden trees, the flea markets, Tomorrow they will be there. The beach, not the widow, but the beach. Fabus Silvatica Mandula. For the British people, you have to watch Gardener's World, BBC, Friday evening, Montedon, gardening program. That's another brewery. The same problem. <laughs> And the house a bit further in front of us, decorated with the seven works of charity. On top of the windows, to the window traceries, the seven works of charity. To have the matching gable, it's nice, but to do it, it's much nicer. It's not enough to have it, eh? it's more important that, that we do it. Eh? Seventeen twenty. So under the seven is a metal bracket. That's one of the last souvenirs of the tram. So in 1953 there was a tram in Brugge and they could attach the cables of the tram to those brackets. So here and there you still have metal brackets for the tram in Left-hand side, you notice all the window panes made of Venetian glass, special color, glass from Venice. One book says that in the whole world you can only find three sorts of houses, but say one in Brugge, one in Amsterdam, and one in Rome. But it's only one book that that says that. So it, it's possible, I think, possible. That's a fact that it's uh, Venetian glass. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, this will be the other trip on the Prussian canals. Pity enough, it also means that we are all 35 minutes older now. What a shame, half an hour of our precious life vanished into the air. We are quite lucky, we are not wetter than when we started. When it rains, we are older and soaked, no, that's even worse. So in the 14th century, it was very dangerous to travel over water, because in the 14th century, many people couldn't swim. Therefore, the 14th century, it was a tradition, when Pesh left the boat, they always gave the captain a small tip for their safe return to land, because he did a very good job to bring them back. Now, seven years later, I know the fact that we all try to explain in several languages, the Brugian drivers still have to work on the tip system. So thanks in advance, and please keep your fingers in the boat. Amen. It's very kind of you. I don't have a hat do like this. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Well, I'm already a bit embarrassed. Thank you. <laughs>